I remember when I was a kid in middle school, there was a guy that tried to sell me cigarettes once. It wasn't like an adult or anything. It wasn't a creepy uncle situation. It was just a fellow classmate. And he like pulled me aside. He's like, Charlie, you want to see something fucking epic? You ever heard of cigarettes? And I was like, yeah, I've heard of those goofy little things before. Why? So he like opened up his backpack and showed me. He made it seem like he was showing me like a real life fucking Pokemon or something, like a dinosaur egg. And I just never really forgot that. That story doesn't really have anything in common with what we're talking about today, other than I now feel like that kid selling cigarettes. But instead of selling cigarettes, now I'm just showing you something fucking epic with a grown ass man melting down and throwing a temper tantrum after being told he has to move one seat to his left in a movie theater. In this theater. So let's Why do you have to have mine? It's not your Go seat. Go away. That's not gonna I happen. pay my money. I have a right to, to it. sit in your seat. Correct? Yes, that's my not, seat. That's not your seat. How can you tell us that my seat? Because your ticket has your seat number on it. Absolutely bent him over and blasted his ass with facts and logic. Put his ass into a checkmate, the scholar's mate, by dropping the mic after revealing that his ticket has his assigned seat on it, as pretty much every movie theater does these days. And so, to bring you up to speed, this gentleman was asked to just move to his seat that is on his ticket, and that's when all hell broke loose. That's when the demon came out. Whatever. Let's find it. Whatever. This can easily Do be your own policy. No, your, your no, I'm going to be an asshole because you're being an asshole. I am not. I'm a patron here. Okay, and I'm trying to find And this will seat. be the last time that I come to this imagined theater. My man just dropped a theator on him. That's some straight out of Spongebob fire. Again, this could all be solved super easily if he just moved to the seat right next to him. But he just will not budge. This is what happens when an unstoppable object meets an immovable sack of rejection and failure. All right, I paid my money. Great. Does please, anybody please here don't think come that back. this don't is come back. actually... Uh, a, a thing where it's like, it doesn't matter where you sit. It's not a side seating. It is. Go sit in your own seat. Thank you. So now we get a look at our protagonist here. It's Hulk Hogan. Hulk mania is running wild here, brother. I'll tell you what. And the camera angle is very cinematic here. I feel like a child hiding inside of my parents' closet. Now they've just busted in and started making out with each other and I'm really uncomfortable. You also gotta love that the uh, crowd work didn't exactly pan out. Wait guys, what's the deal with assigned seating? Does anyone else believe in this shit? This shit's more made up than round earth theory, am I right? Like, come on, what's, what's going on with that shit? And some guy's like, bro, just go to your seat. He's like, ah, oh, bah humbug, hey, whatever. It's just this phenomenon that I always find amazing. When someone is so confidently wrong and lost in their own delusion, just huffing too many of their own farts that they just really think that they're right and put themselves out there to get validation and never find it. It's like those people that are melting down in a public store or at a retail worker and they film themselves melting down and insulting the retail worker thinking that they're in the right and it looks good on them. But every single time it just gets them attacked by everyone or they get like fired from their job for it because they themselves posted their worst moment thinking that they were in the right oh thank you please sir let's find your seat and we can start no leave. i'm not going to then i'm going to ask you to leave you did like four or five times and that's why now we have a disturbance because some other people can't just okay. be like you know what i could sit right here sir we're not doing this one anymore. seat off we're not doing one this seat off yeah, I gotta say, man, the employee here has the patience of an actual Zen master. I don't know how someone can be dealing with fucking drunk Yosemite Sam over here like this with such a level head. He's just sitting there being as respectful as possible given the circumstance. So that guy needs a raise. ASAP. So if I were to move over one seat, everything would be okay. Sir, Is that what you're saying? You're Is that what you're saying? Listen. Does that mean? Are you gonna listen? All right, go ahead. Be go ahead. Be okay. my pass. Okay. At this point, you are disrupting the show for these fine folks. We're gonna ask you to leave. We'll get you a refund, though. I'll be nice and get you a refund. I don't know. I might want to be taken out in handcuffs now. Sir, let's come on. I say call his bluff. This is not a guy who's accustomed to confrontation or fighting. 
when you see him stand up, you'll know what I'm talking about. This is a guy whose only argument has probably ever come from playing Dungeons and Dragons online, or maybe like a rule dispute in Magic the Gathering. There is no chance that this guy would be okay in the face of like actual confrontation. He's just taking advantage of some very respectful and nice workers and being an insufferable asshole. Now, it does sound like he's been drinking, but that's no excuse for this behavior whatsoever. It's such a small, trivial thing to just move one seat over. I imagine the reason they even checked his ticket and then found out he was in the wrong seat is because someone was trying to sit in their assigned seat, but this fucking vigilante swamp-ass monster couldn't help but try and, like, fight for his right to be a nuisance. It's so frustrating that people will cause such a massive scene over something so small. Just move one seat over. It's just not that hard. I paid my money. I don't understand yeah, we'll why it you. is. If I sit over here, one That's, seat, it's I okay, think. and everything is right with the world. But if not, the world stops and everybody gets upset. Sir, let's go. I'll be nice and I'll get you a refund. I want more than just a refund. Okay. Can I get a drink? We'll take care of you in the lobby. One more drink's gonna have this man in the fetal position crying and asking for his mom to pop a tit for him to suckle. It's not a good idea. He's definitely hit the sauce a little too hard today, though he does strike me as just an already angry person to begin with if he's willing to go this hard on something this insignificant. So hopefully he didn't get a drink and hopefully he didn't get a refund. He, he was not entitled to a refund. He literally just donated to this theater to not even see a movie. He went in here, confrontational, and basically kicked himself out. He does, he does not need a refund. That is being way too nice to this guy. These two workers deserve a raise for having to deal with someone like this. Just an actual public nuisance. Fine. And then I won't come back. Okay. Ever. Okay. And I'm going to make sure everybody knows about this shit. Okay. I appreciate that. I'm capitulating because I don't want to watch the movie now. You ruined it for me. Because of your silly ass rules. Okay. I apologize about that. Take a look at that drip, god damn! Looking suave. Man out here with the red on red, dressed like an actual zit. Uh, or maybe the, the saturation's a little up and maybe it's orange on orange and he's cosplaying as a traffic cone with a wig. I'm really not sure, but he's looking real good here. Man's looking like Doc Brown going through a phase after Back to the Future 3. I still think I'm being the bigger person here. Paid $900 for it. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy your movie. The most predictable twist in cinema history. This guy owns a trench coat and unironically wears it in public. I actually thought when he first picked it up, it was a trash bag or like a tarp or something. And then it turned out to be a trench coat and I just thought, yep. That makes sense. That tracks. That sounds about par for the course. He probably also had like a katana stored in the trunk of his car just in case he happened to get jumped by six samurais on the way out of the parking lot or something. Just really sad shit. Just a public nuisance for no fucking reason. Could have just moved one seat over and saved everyone the trouble and himself the embarrassment. I think this is just a lesson to everyone to not make a big deal out of such simple and small things. Even like, let's say in some fantasy world, he was right. You know, he was actually in the right seat and the movie theater was wrong. None of them could, they couldn't read. They were all illiterate. Even still, it was such a simple ask. They're asking me to move one seat over. I might be right, but why am I going to fight them? It's their facility. I'll just move over so that way I'm not intruding on everyone else's time. It's just not hard to just do something simple for the sake of everyone else's enjoyment and ease of existence. Like, it's just, I don't know, that shit just drives me up a fucking wall. Anyway, I, I just saw this today and wanted to talk about it. That's about it. See ya.